Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Movie Social. I'm your host, Ricky, and this is my co-host, Stefan. What up? Now, before we even continue, right, don't think that I'm wearing the same shirt. We're recording on the same day. Yeah, nobody <laughs> worrying about that. Listen, we had a couple of movies this weekend that came out. We wanted to do them all. Yep. Knocking out the reviews. Don't right. matter. So, today we are going to review The Five Bloods. Literally, duh, Five Bloods. Spike Lee joint. Um, it was about five, no, yeah, five Vietnam, um, war veterans, African American war veterans, um, going over to, uh, back over to Vietnam for some gold that they had found while they were on, uh, is it called tour? Or what is yeah. it called? When it you tour. actually, yeah, while they were on tour, essentially, uh, while, when, when they were, uh, I mean, that was their assignment though, but yeah, I'm not going to divulge too much into the movie itself and give it all away. Yeah, um, all in all, it was a good movie. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's slow. It's very slow. Um, this it's a two is, and a half hour long movie. This is a snack meal movie. <laughs> I would say, like, hey, listen, have a couple snacks. Have a meal or something like that if you want to order a piece and some snacks. Because it's two and a half hours long. And the first hour, in my opinion, is slow. It's very slow. Uh, for content, it's for the, the basically the um, the development of the story, or whatever the case may be. Um, and um, I'm not going to go deep into or any spoilers, but as I stated, it's um, four. It's about five people that were in the army, but four of them are alive, only to find the gold that they um, lost or not lost, buried at Vietnam or Viet Cong, something like that. It's Vietnam. Um, yeah, when they were over there uh, for a war, and they're trying to, uh, you know, get it to bring it back so they can stop living in poverty or just like being broke or whatever, they're gonna get that money. Um, and uh, it's really, really good. Uh, as I stated, it's a little bit slow. Um, if you're squeamish, there are some squeamish parts, in my opinion. Um, but I mean, like I said, that's if you're squeamish. Um, it, it was a good movie, and it, it has some very interesting backgrounds. Some some not backgrounds, but some interesting um, details regarding like how people are after they come from the war, and like their mindsets and stuff like that. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, one, it's a Spike Lee joint, so you expect a certain kind of. Filming to take place on Spike Lee films, TV shows, movies, whatever. I love the movie as a whole, one. It brought into light a lot of the effects war has on people. It explored that. It explored the civil rights movement during the, civil, um, during the Vietnam War. What the black community went through during that war. Because mm -hmm. during that time... A lot of things was happening. Dr. King, all of that. Muhammad Ali refusing to go to war. Mm -hmm. It explored also the moments after the war was over. It also, I'm glad that they filmed it basically post the war, back when they were traveling back to Vietnam. Their mindsets now, from then, it brought into play the whole Donald Trump situation going on now, mm -hmm. brought in a lot of other issues happening, brought in the Black Lives Matter movement. It how they see how they see Americans and stuff like that over that, in Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. The hurt that they're suffering because of this country's stupidity with a war that should have never happened to begin with. And it definitely had a big impact on people's livelihoods because of the war. Like one of the, I don't want to really give out any too much detail of it, but one of the characters suffering from PTSD, mm -hmm. how it affected him and his family, his children, and another one, how doing all this got him a lot of money, but he basically squandered it all. Yeah, people's livelihoods. And it really cast a light into what it meant for them as those black men. But 
as a whole, one, great cinematography, great casting, great acting, especially the effects and all were great. And yes, there is a lot of blood in this movie. Yeah. I mean, hey, it's in the title, so. So, my favorite character, if I can say a favorite character, was, uh, I forget his name. Charged to my head, not my heart. But it was the guy with the famous line that everybody knows. <laughs> Uh, the boy was like, she. Nah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yo, he was my favorite character because, again, like, he was like, it seemed like he was like, he resonated with me because it seemed like he's like the life of the party. And, and when it needed him the most, he put himself on the line for his friends. I kind of um, questioned that moment myself. I'm like, uh, there were so many other things he could have probably done cor- at that time. Correct, but. But I mean, it is what it is. That's what his training taught him to do. Exactly. He went right when when I'm not, again. We're not giving details, but there's a part of the movie where it goes to shit, and like they we jump right, right back. It. They jump right back into that war mode, and he does something that maybe just maybe he could have lived if he did it another way. But what he was trained, like it took over his his logical thinking. And he ended up sacrificing himself um, for his friends or whatever. But like I said, hey, he was one of he was my one of my favorite characters. Oh yeah, it really was great casting all around. I was a little surprised. I'm going to say this: if you think you're going to watch this, this uh, Chad Boseman yeah, the movie, <laughs> don't watch this. Exactly. That's all the only reason why you want to watch this. Yeah, agreed. He's not the main character of the movie. He's no. in the movie yeah. quite a bit, but he's, he's a symbol. not the main character. He's a of symbol. The movie. He's the definitely he's definitely a symbol. And of the movie. that's probably the only thing I have against this movie is the way they marketed it with him plastered everywhere. Gotcha. Yeah, I I, I agree. Because when I was when I was watching, not watching it, but when I was, when we first were looking at movies that we wanted to watch or whatever, um, I was like, oh, Chadwick Boseman, he's a great actor. Let me go ahead and watch this, John. But, and then, like, he's barely in it. I was like, oh, okay. But why do they have him, fr- fr- you know, front and center uh, for the movie logo or whatever the case may be? But, hey, um, he was definitely more of a symbol than anything. I mean, he stood for a lot, though, in the movie. Yeah. I mean, we may do a spoiler version of this where we can actually divulge deep into all of this. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it was really good to go see. You didn't go anywhere, right? <laughs> I said it was really good to go see. But you didn't go anywhere. I did go somewhere. <laughs> I went to my living room to watch this. <laughs> you didn't go anywhere. I did. I literally watched it. To my it. living room. <laughs> I watched From it. my bedroom to my living room. That was, was it a lot of traffic? Yes, it was. 95 was packed. Woo! <laughs> yeah, All right. Pay the all jokes aside, though, definitely watch this movie. Everything that's going on right now is something that can uh, really give you some inspiration into keeping the fight going mm-hmm. because we can't hope give up right now. I really wanted to say something, one of those scenes, especially when they were talking about, uh, did you vote for Trump or not? But I'm not going to go there right now. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. That was that was the beginning, but yeah, go ahead. And the whole uh, I, I gotta ask Spike this though. He gotta answer this. What was up with the hat? Why? 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 But I I, I get it though. Yeah, but it was it was there for for us. It was like I said, it was another symbol. Yeah, of people's mindset. But all in all, I definitely recommend anyone to watch this. Yeah, just prepared to watch a long movie, and like I said, the. What for the first 50, 60 minutes is 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 slow. It's for context. I mean, I personally didn't mind it because it put everything together. Without that, this movie wouldn't have been that good. Without the context. Yeah. But agreed. Until next time, don't forget to like us, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. See you guys.